Okay, hello, my name is Rick Parkinson and I'm a product executive for the UK side of Pioneer DJ in the UK. Uh, we're here today on a DB247.com to show you Pioneer's brand new CDJ850 and how that sits alongside our current uh, CDJ, so mainly the CDJ900 and CDJ2000. I'm going to go over that for you. And also Pioneer's brand new digital 24-bit uh, DJM2000, showing you some of the main features and kind of showing you how we place that product into the market, maybe looking at how a DJ is now the new producer and stuff. So we're going to go over that with you. So that's Pioneer's new CDJ850 and Pioneer's brand new DJM2000. Thank you very much. So here today we have the brand new CDJ850 from Pioneer and Pioneer's brand new digital mixer, the DJM2000. And what I'm going to do is run over all of the key features on both the CDJ and also the mixer and kind of show you how the two products sit with each other in comparison to the rest of our CD, CDJ lineup and also our DJM mixers at the same time. So. First of all, I'm going to start with Pioneer's brand new DJM2000. Essentially, it is a 24-bit 96K digital mixer that houses some of the unique features that we've incorporated in, uh, in our other DJM mixers. So we've kind of got the colour effects here, which we've now relabeled as the instant effects that we had on the DJM800. We've also got this section here which is the effects powerhouse of the mixer and kind of carries many traits of the EFX 1000 and EFX 500. We have a brand new section here on the screen, on the mixer, that is a two point touch screen that basically breaks down into three sections. So we have the frequency mix mode, which I'll explain, the remix mode, and also the MIDI mode, which I'll go over as well. Maybe look at this product as our first mixer that kind of breaches uh, the gap between the DJ and the producer. We're all very aware now that today's modern DJ is also a producer and has the tools available to be a producer from downloading, from sharing music with friends and stuff. And this is our product that kind of makes that possible for the live DJ remixer. So in the past, some of our products have been what I would describe as quite destructive. So we would engage an effect over a nice sounding track and we put a big nasty destructive bit crusher, bit crusher over the top of it. This mix is a lot more subtle, a lot more additive and you can add these nice flavours to your mix rather than kind of killing a track instantly with some big attacking effects. So yeah, lots of little subtle, subtle additive injections into your track. Okay, so it's a 4 channel mixer, it's got a 24 bit 96k 8 channel sound card inside there. So if you're using DDS or any type of DJ software, no need for a third party sound card. Literally one lead from the back of the mixer into, for example, Tractor's Sake or maybe Ableton. Any third party kind of uh, computer software and you can use the 8 channel sound card house within the mixer. So we're quite aware that there's a lot of products out there that are great, so we want a platform that we can house everything into it. Everything can plug into here and you've got one unit that's, that's going to do the job for you. So you don't need to carry all these third party little mini controllers and sound cards and, and these labyrinth of wires to your gig with you. You can kind of plug everything into here and you should be able to get going instantly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take you around the mixer and show you some of the unique features and new features that we in integrated on the DJM2000. Okay, so that was a little bit of an introduction of some of the main features and the tangible effects that you can generate from the mixer, but I just want to go over a bit about the inputs and the connectivity at the back of the mixer. So something that's very important for the DJM2000, it's now the center point for our new CDJ2000 and CDJ900. When we first released the CDJ2000 and 900, you could daisy chain uh, two products and share information from one CDJ to another. So you could have a USB key in one deck and share that, that music across the LAN over onto the other CDJ. Now you could actually connect four of those, but we didn't have a means of connecting those four products. So we just kind of suggested that maybe people use a small little domestic LAN hub. But now with the DJM2000, we have a six port LAN hub in the back of the mixer. So if you have four CDJ 2000s or 900s, they all connect into the back and you can basically share 
one source of music across four different decks. Now there's also two extra ports in the back of there and they are for linking your mixer directly to Recordbox. Now Recordbox is Pioneer's music management tool for all of our CDJs and it's basically an iTunes for DJs. It's a standalone piece of software that you can use at home that's available for free for download off the internet and you manage all of your music. You can create some nice playlists, pre-produced loops and cue points and hot cues. You can make sure all your ID3 tagging is nice and neat and then when you export your USB key, the players come alive, they're a lot more visible, they're a lot more interactive and you really do get some great features on there. But as well as using Recordbox like that, you can plug directly from your computer into the back of the mixer on the LAN and share that music within Recordbox onto all of the CDJs. Don't look at it like a DBS piece of software like Traktor or Serato, but look at it merely as another source of music, just another hard drive. And sure, if you want to take your laptop to the gig and plug it into the mixer, you do have the ability to search and drag tracks and load them onto the mixer. So that's another way of using Recordbox. Four digital inputs on the back of the mixer, so you can ensure that you're coming directly out of the CDJs into the products on the highest quality channel possible and also your standard analog inputs for your turntables, the USB inputs as well that activate the sound card. There's an 8 pin MIDI lead in the back of there, so sure you can use it on the USB lead for your MIDI, but if you do want to use it on the MIDI 8 pin DIN lead, it's fully, fully MIDI mappable. So any CC MIDI capturing software, you can easily map out all the points and all your standard XLR, center returns, quarter inch jack, balanced outputs as well for all your other DJ connectivity. Mm -hmm.